Hi, everyone, and welcome back. And I'm with Dennis Stalton. How are you doing, Dennis? Tom, how are you? Okay, now your brother, Adam. Yeah. I'm sorry I called you Adam earlier. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Uh, Happens a lot. It's hard with me for names. Anyway, uh, Dennis, you are now in charge of the Park Restoration Project mm -hmm. since your brother moved on to uh, bigger things. Yes. Okay. And uh, tell us, what is your brother doing now? Well, he's the uh, tribal chairperson now. Okay. He officially, we officially voted him in, and uh, we also have uh, Earl Dalton. The, okay. He's the third. The third. Yeah, he is the tri uh, vice secretary or vice chairperson. Okay. And then uh, Derek Dalton is the uh, treasurer. Okay. Secretary and I like the treasurer. way you you guys step up because I remember Adam stepping up and you know going to the different. Uh, uh, the different places where the ranchery was donating money out of the hospital, I mm -hmm. remember, and stuff. And it was some of the first times I saw him. And he said, he's a good speaker. And, uh, and, and that's really good. And now, yeah. now you're stepping up to, uh, to the park restoration project. And I know you've been involved. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to have to tell a short story. And then we're going to clip. Mm -hmm. And uh, yesterday I went down to get some fresh footage because around the pool area, you know, you put those, uh, those flies up uh, or those, you know, the... Uh, those uh, sun covers, yes. whatever you want to call them, at the pool. So I wanted to get some pictures of that, and so I did. And when I came back and we were getting ready to dump the clip, I look up at the TV monitor, and we were playing a look back of uh, the opening of Little, e Little League East mm -hmm. in 2000, and there's your mom, okay? And I said to Tommy, everybody knows Tommy Fox, says, Tommy, we've got to get that clip. So Tommy got that clip, and uh, we're going to... Air it. So uh, go ahead and hit that. Well, I dream big. When it comes to kids, I dream big. I may not live long enough to see this, but someday I hope to see a swimming pool there, uh, skateboard trails, hiking trails, um, tennis, everything. And I want, I want these uh, fields to be interactive for different sports. And, and so I want everything for the kids. I, I really believe that the community has to rally around. It's up to the community. Now I know I heard a comment that said, well, Margaret Dalton can do it. Margaret Dalton is not going to do it alone. If I have all the help, I will do whatever I can. Okay, well, I was pretty long-winded before that clip, so I'm going to give you a chance to talk. Your mom was talking about a complex in that. Do you, you want to clarify that a little bit? Um, I don't know if that's still in, in process or not. Uh, I know that her dreams right now, her dreams were uh, with the ballpark and the children, and we're going to go forward with that now. Okay. Um, uh, I, I could get more information on the okay. complex. I, I remember it a little bit. At that time, 2000, there were a lot of uh, uh, people in Amador County, and they, they were talking about maybe making a, a, a sports complex. Right. And they went to your mom, and she said, sure, I'll, I'll help, but you got to be other people involved. Mm -hmm. you know. And uh, as a clip shows, and it's, it's done time and time again, your mom would always step forward to help kids out. And I'm glad the way you said that, that might not be happening, but her dream's moving on due to her sons mm -hmm. that are uh, changing, you know, you're, you're uh, you know, rebuilding the parks. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the, uh, the park. Okay. Okay. Now, we've only got one minute, so okay. just tell us briefly what the Park Restoration Project's all about. It's, it's about giving back uh, as a tribe, and this is the tribe that's doing this. Um, we have the backing by the casino, but this is the tribe that's doing this from our hearts. And this is what our mothers are talking, my mom's talking about, is we talk from the heart. Right. And, uh, and it's for the children, and it's for the adults, too. Because uh, a lot of adults go there and have barbecues and family. It's family gathering. And this is what it's all, all about, is one big, giant family. And we can all be together. And this is where we need to get to know all of you people out there more and better. Okay. We're going to take a break, and then we're going to be back. We're going to see some clips of what's been going on up there at uh, Dieter Park. Thanks. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Hi, everyone, and welcome back. Tom Sliver with Dennis Dalton. Dennis, you know, in the clip, your mom said, you know, she'll help, but she needs the community involved. Did the community get involved? Yeah, when we came down here from Volcano and from uh, Molly Joyce, uh, the, the, 
community stepped up. Uh, we got a lot of volunteers, uh, a lot of people stepped up and donated um, equipment, uh, their time. Uh, volunteers came off the street. Uh, some families came and worked together, which was really nice. And uh, we got to the point where we were feeding 50 to 60 people a day, wow. including our workers and the volunteers. Well, we had some nice weather, okay. which we don't I hope, uh, Alan, start that clip. The first clip uh, that we're going to see is a little bit about uh, uh, Amy Field. Mm -hmm. And uh, so well, that's running. I think we've got that on. Basically, we're looking at some of the uh, the, the stuff around there that's uh, in. The tennis court there. Right. And we got the tennis court area, lights. Here's the, here's here's the ball field coming up, and so let's talk about all the people that were involved and what were we shooting for for the ballpark. When do you think it'll open? Um, due to the weather, uh, hopefully the grandfathers will uh, allow us to uh, get back on the field. Um, we did get in there from the rain after the bad rains, and we took off the infield. Mm -hmm. And put in other so or other. I think that was soil. probably last Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. They looked like they were finalizing the dirt mm -hmm. around the uh, around the field area there. And you know the the guys told me all we need is put the sod in, but we don't want to put it down before it freezes. Right, because I mean, of the roots won't take. Right, and, yeah. it, and it could freeze, and it's been yeah. known to known to freeze here yeah. in Jackson. <laughs> okay, so we don't want that to happen. No. And uh, where we have that clip? Oh, that's that's great. So uh, there's also going to be softball played here, mm -hmm. correct? Yes, there is. Um, uh, Softball League has been working with us also. Uh, they've uh, donated some food, meals for us. A lot of people have donated meals and softball and, you know, the swim teams and okay. with all the park. And, you know, this, this ball field's a class act. I mean, you guys are really building this thing right. I was uh, amazed when I went down there, you know, yesterday because I saw stuff that I didn't see uh, before. Most people just drive and buy it, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, if you don't park the car, get out and walk around, you're not going to see it. Oh, there I am. Hit the next clip, Tom. I mean, Alan. And uh, this is, I think, the part that I call, there, there's uh, your thing. Have, do you need to change that marker at all and get more? Uh, yeah, um, when, when the weather comes up again, uh, people will be stepping up again. Okay. And we're looking a little bit again once uh, towards the back part. Yeah, and this is the backstop. Uh, this is where the handball in there also. Right. Now, what I was trying to show with this uh, series is going around the backside of the of the park, and uh, it seems like you had your crew come on in and and uh, landscape and uh, terrace and put in a lot of uh, you know uh, pathways and things like that. We have like a new uh, what's going on, and and I think we're going to see that. So tell us about that. Um, right now, it's a uh it's pretty much completed down in that area. Uh, we did put in two official size um, horseshoe pits. Um, we put in the drainage, the, the restrooms are uh, wheelchair accessible. All the paths are wheelchair accessible. Uh, there's so much lighting, a uh, new redwood uh, retaining wall for the kids and for the slides and all new, it's just, we okay. did it all. Okay, let's see where we are on this clip. Okay, we're look, coming up here now, and we're going towards a swing area, and there is a, uh, a a walkway where before that was just a hill up in there, mm -hmm. and now you can see back up in towards the ball field and coming down. I think we're gonna we either already saw the horseshoe pits, or we're gonna yeah, see it now. Are, right there, yeah. Okay, and uh, here's some of the equipment. Now, I believe that's new equipment there. Some of it. This yeah. was there because I, I my grandkid. Uh, my grandsons were uh, playing on that quite a lot, and uh, we can see now some of the the path, you know, the, uh, and uh, it's it's just amazing. I was really amazed because I didn't see this part. You don't see this part yeah. driving by, and there were uh, kids in there playing, and and uh, we're coming up and next to us. Are we trying to remember how this is? Here's my shot of the sidewalk. I was so amazed by that, you know, because basically, yeah. hey, you need to talk. Okay. okay, what are we looking at? Uh, this is the park area. This is uh, the uh, Louis Podesta that did all the fencing. Uh, he does an excellent job, but we put up that retaining wall and the fence for safety for the kids don't come out of the slide and fall off. Um, we put an all-new bark for the kids when they land on it. Uh, made it as safe as safe as possible. Put new lighting mm -hmm. down there. Uh, we get kids in there every day while we was working. It didn't matter. They all came in. They all put, they were all playing while we are working. Sure. Yes. You can't keep kids from not you playing. You just can't. Okay. It's just fun to see. And uh, 
I think we're going to finish up with that. Here we are. We're on a clip now where the, uh, this is the pool area. Mm -hmm. And this guy here is uh, welding up there and getting ready to do all the nice stuff. Why don't you tell us about the pool area? Uh, we, we, ju we just put up the, uh, Louie also doing the fence in there, uh, put up the blue vinyl fence. Um, Louis down, Podesta. Yeah, Louis Podesta. And his son? And uh, let's see, uh, let's see, John, John's working with him. Uh, let's see, who else? I can't remember all the names, we've got so many out there. But anyway, they're doing the pool area. We redid the bathrooms. Uh, the city's got to do the solar yet. We did, it, we did all the panels up there for okay. them. And I Old solar panels? Yeah. Okay. All right, so the, the heating of the pool, which is a big expense, yeah, uh, probably that expense is going to come down once yes, the solar it does. Uh, panels are going to... I have a list there. of things here that, like the lighting and stuff, how much we're going to save in the long run on the, on the lighting, and it's a, quite, a, quite a bit of money that we'll be saving per year. Right, because uh, yeah. that's a lot of light. Yeah, and, and we got LED all, okay. all throughout the park. And the polar bears, I know, are going to love you for... Uh, for taking care of you know for taking care of that pool now uh part of the show is the pool full earlier clip we're going to go back when when the uh when those uh i guess sun sh sun shades mm -hmm. are put on and yeah. and everything is so beautiful and new the mm -hmm. you know the water area down there has blue fencing yes and uh which was uh, really really something and a lot of work was involved oh absolutely i can't say enough about the people who did participate and help with help us with all of the equipment the manpower the know-it-all that when we got to work to, with this, these other crews they worked like okay we worked with them forever we have a few minutes left let me ask you how did you guys you know the tribe come up with the idea i believe my brother adam had a, had a vision um because he was upstairs working with my uncle bo at the time and he had this vision at a do what mom wanted and my mom you've seen the clip and this is a part of her dream and, and it's a part of our dream we, we well, I'm not gonna say my age but 1967 I just told my age uh, I played ball back then and it was pretty pretty much new back then mm -hmm. but uh, throughout the years you've seen what happened and and what we are able to do now and from our hearts it's it's such a good feeling in here for us to do this and to share with everybody else in the community and that's what Aaron and being part of the family. And we're all one tribe now. All the people. Okay. Miwok means all the people. Okay. Yeah. Well, I like that. And I can't say, I could say it better. I wouldn't try. We're going to take a break. And uh, I want to thank you very much, Dennis, for Thanks, coming huh? by and, thank uh, you. and um, being part of this project. And uh, wow, that's all I can say. Let's take a break. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader. SPM.